Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage and welcome back to episode 53 of Europa Universalis 4 Asberat. In the last video, we won the Coalition War. Not only did we win the Coalition War, I also managed to take the province away from Afghanistan that I needed in order to complete my mission. Um, Jarkand also managed to take... Sorry, not Jarkand. Jampur managed to take a significant chunk of land away from Multan there, which I'll probably try and give a lot of it to um, Garjat if I can, because our truce is up with them in a couple of years. In the meantime, I'm just trying to sort out my military forces because we did suffer heavy losses in the battle with Afghanistan and the Ottomans. Our manpower got completely decimated. In fact, I've actually got the manpower mission selected and I know we're never going to manage it. So uh, let's go ahead and cancel that mission. I think I'm going to leave both of these policies turned on, even though they are costing me points. They are very, very useful policies. And I think when we get our next, admi uh, our next idea group, we will most likely want to go for a military idea. Um, not too sure what we want to go for. Maybe we want to go for uh, offensive ideas. Uh, we'll just let that slide. I don't really care. Uh, extra morale of armies plus 15%. That's defensiveness. Mm, recruitment time, land leader fire, prestige, siege ability. So that would be really useful against Afghanistan. Land force limit modifier, more discipline. It would be nice to have that, um, uh, that extra morale. But I think just being able to siege Afghanistan out uh, quicker would be more useful. So you want to go up to 4 Cavalry and 8 Artillery. We can't afford it. How much money are we not making? 415. That's not great. What do we like in terms of force limits? Still well below. So we'll try and build all the forces up if we can. Um, so you've got 14 infantry there. We need another stack of 14 infantry. So let's go ahead and take off you guys. Um, you're going to get disbanded. And you guys, so that'll be one, two, three, four. So you guys can get disbanded as, well, 5,000. There we go. That'll save us a bit of money. About another four ducats a month. Let's make sure we go back to um, building a spy network in Afghanistan. Because we definitely want to get that done. Um, Multan, I think you were in the coalition war. Yeah, so we can't take anything from them. Uh, we'll probably be going over here and beating up Hyathaya at some point because that was very, very um, naughty what they were doing to us. So we'll be taking some more stuff from them. Do we have a... No, we don't actually have anything with Hasenwi. And they are allied with Khmer, who are these little guys down here. So I think we'll soon be able to go in and uh, take that fight. Let's start moving some units down onto their borders, actually. We'll move you guys down as well. Don't want you both in the same province. Hopefully you guys have fabricated some claims on them. You have not. Well, why aren't you fabricating claims? I did make you a march. Do we have a CB against these guys? Probably not. No, we don't have a CB. Uh, we can get one, though, because they are our neighbours. So let's go ahead and start building a spy network on them. Because that's something that we very much want to do. So this this army, I'm going to say this one is complete. Let's move you up to Jangladesh. Let's move you over here because we do have some provincial unrest. Luckily, a lot of it is now burning away because we're no longer at war. Uh, we can make states. That wouldn't really increase the amount of money we're making, so it's a bit of a waste. Um, that would slightly... Yeah, let's go ahead and do that one. And uh, apparently it's already cored. Yeah, that one wouldn't be worth it. That one wouldn't really be worth it either. Okay, great. Gain 20 prestige. That is fine. Come in for you, Jampo. Uh Now then, which, um, which army are you supposed to be joining? I guess it's this one. So you want, if we can, so much money to do anything. We could put our army maintenance down, but that's a little bit worrying. How, how many loans do we have currently? Um, we have... That's quite a lot of loans. We've got six loans. We were making a really decent amount of money at some point. You know what, though? I did. I moved my uh, heavies back into port forgot to mothball them. So that's costing me a lot of money that I could do without. Austria is the emperor once again. 
So let's group you guys together. One more cavalry. Uh, we've renewed a couple of loans. Couldn't afford to pay them off. Uh, that's fine. Did I go ahead and cancel that mission? I can't remember if I did. Yeah, I did cancel it. We just have to wait for the uh, next one to cycle around again. So we'll probably want to uh, make a claim over here on Senwi. And we will go in and attack them. Take some more stuff from them. Less people to deal with later. Very, very annoyed by Aethaya. We will be attacking them at some point in the future. Um, well, it's only local tax modifier. I don't mind when it's a local thing. You know, losing half of the tax from one province isn't really a big deal. Um, we want to make sure... I mean, I could take another loan and just instantly build these units up to the size that I want them. But that does often seem like a little bit of a, uh, of a waste. We're making more money now, though. Uh, we could probably get a cheaper advisor, although I want to try and keep the good advisors where we can. Yeah, maybe maybe we just put... Well, most of the people that don't like us are currently in a, um, a truce. Uh, let's go ahead and reduce some inflation as well. So that should help out. We should make a fair bit more money now. Yeah, 26 ducats per month. So we should sh soon be able to get these units built up to strength. Now then, Jempor, when is our... Um, truce with you up it's in december of uh, 90 uh, 1670 so we've still got over well over a year before anything happens with that so i don't need to worry about that one too much so we want to make you up to need 30 one more cannon and that'll be a full stack then do you know what we will get these loans paid off at some point so let's just go ahead and take another loan It'll just make it easier to get this done. So you can have your extra cannon. You want four infantry, uh, sorry, four cavalry and eight cannons. And then we've got another stack up here. And you are going to want four cavalry and probably can't afford all the cannons. Not enough manpower. Manpower was the problem there, not the money. That's fine. We did do a lot of consolidating, though, so that's quite understandable. Um, need one more tick, one more month, and we'll have the manpower we need. New mission. Uh, form an alliance with Nepal for one diplomatic reputation. Or remove Kangra from the map. Where's Kangra? You guys, yeah, we can do that. Who are you allied with? You're allied with Afghanistan and Janpour. Are Janpour allied with Afghanistan? No, they're not. You are allied with Yarkand, unfortunately. But we can take that mission and take that if we actually go to war with Janpour. Yes, let's go ahead and take that mission then. So we want to remove them from the map. Now, if I were to declare war on you guys, Yarkand wouldn't come in on your side, which is very, very good. Been caught building a spy network in Afghanistan again. <laughs> Whoops. Wow, we need 40, uh, 40 points to fabricate on them. So that's unfortunate. Uh, the next month has not ticked yet. It's just about to. So we'll go ahead and click that. I did click it. There we go. Stupid autosave. So, by the time all of the units reach the armies, uh, we should have four stacks of 26 units, which should be 104 if I can math, which I can't. Um, why does it say 106? Four times 25, it'd be 100. So, why does it say 106? Renewed alone. Did I, uh, did I overcook something? That should be 26... Mm, okay, apparently I can't math, but I'm sure that um, 4 times 26 is only 104. So why is this saying 106? Have I got some random units around that I'm not aware of? We'll wait until they all get into position. We'll have a look. We'll see why it's giving me uh, strange numbers. Now then... Yep, you guys are all forming up nicely. 
It's actually going to take a little bit longer than I expected to get the spy work built large enough in Senwi to fabricate a claim. I'm really annoyed that my March hasn't actually fabricated one of their own. Of, of course, we do still have a lot of aggressive expansion with um, Delhi and... Not Delhi. Dali and Ayathaya. I mean, I guess we could allow some of that to burn off. I suppose it wouldn't be the worst idea not to go to war for a little while. I like how we are actually building units in our uh, allies' provinces, which was something that was added in one of the uh, one of the expansions. I can't remember which. Might have been Cossacks, actually. Um, what have we got here? Why are you 61 ships strong? What's our naval force limit? I haven't had a look at that in a while. We are still a little bit behind the naval force limit. I guess we can go and take you up to 65. So, there's two stacks of 26. Um, there's a stack of 26 and a stack of 22. Uh, you're still waiting on some cannons. And now it says 104. It's actually sorted itself out now. I don't know why it was saying 106. Haven't got a clue what was going on there. Once we do start getting more manpower, I will consider taking away some of the mercenaries and replacing them with normal, um, normal troops because they're a lot cheaper. But... Uh, because manpower is definitely proving a problem, we do want to sort of keep on top of that. Um, oh, we need to uh, we need to upgrade some of these forts. No wonder that one actually fell quite quickly in the wars. A couple of these uh, that need upgrading. Yeah, quite a few of these uh, forts are actually obsolete. That's a way we could be saving money, isn't it? Forgot about that completely. What am I doing? I want to turn off the forts. We are currently making 13 ducats per month. If we go ahead and turn off the forts, because half of them are obsolete at the moment anyway. So let's see what will happen once we get into February. Well, it should say on there somewhere. Fort maintenance, 31 ducats. So we should be making about another 15 ducats uh, once the uh, the forts turn off at the end of the month. So maybe I don't just go in and jump on, on Hasenway. I think we'll still get some claims, so we've got the ability to do that. But I'd like some of the aggressive expansion with Dali and Aithaya to go away. Uh, Malwa is definitely someone I would like to set my sights on. Unfortunately, at the moment, they have a truce because they were in the coalition. So it might just be a case of trying to dive on Jampor. They are still allied with Yarkand, but Yarkand quite like me, and they wouldn't actually come in on their side. Um, a lot of that, though, is because they're in debt. So we need to get... If we are going to get involved with that war, um, we do need to get involved with it quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and assign you the slightly better uh, leader. And we will go and assign you this leader. Because that's where most of the fighting is going to be. And we'll assign one of you guys the uh, the free leader over there. So we will put our army maintenance back up. As we get towards the end of the month. We can actually go up to speed 3 now. So as we get towards the end of the month. Uh, or the end of the year, sorry. Because our truce is up. When is it again? The, uh, in December. So hopefully the truce will be up before you can repay all of their debt. That's what we want to go for here. So we've still got a good seven months before we can really uh, make this happen. So we will just have to wait, unfortunately. We are starting to get our spy network built up with the Senri. So we will go ahead and get a claim against them. There we go. We are called. So we can now go and work on another conversion. We'll never get rid of this Sikh uh, province, Jangladesh, because it is a... Um, we've got reduced local missionary strength here. It is a religious centre, I believe. Yeah, religious centre minus 5%. So we'd be a to total minus 4.3% missionary strength, which uh, really doesn't help at all. Um, and we can't culture convert it because it needs to be the uh, right religion before you can culture convert it. So that doesn't help. Um, let's go ahead on Senwi and we will get um, Pagan, Pagan, whatever that uh, province is called, however it is pronounced. We'll go ahead and um, get a claim on them, just so we can go to war if need be. Really, really hoping that we do get the opportunity to go in and jump on these guys. Let's go in and put up the army maintenance. How's corruption doing? 
Um, unbalanced research, positive stability. So we're having to spend a tiny bit of money to root out corruption. Uh, why is our research unbalanced? Because we're massively ahead in military tech. Which is one of the reasons why I want to go for a military group next. Or a military idea group. So let's have another quick look again. Yorkans are still not willing to come in. They're still in debt, which is very, very good. I mean, I'm in debt as well, but... Uh, there's another conversion done. Very, very nice. I want to hold off building buildings. As much as I'd like to upgrade some of the forts, I do really want to try and get some, um, some money back. Uh, let's go and continue to... Um, build a spy network in Afghanistan. We were caught again, unfortunately. Truce with Jampol has ended. Okay, so. Down to speed two. Let us say, for example, that I want to declare war on you guys. Yarkand would not come in. Um, province we want to take is probably... Do you want to take this one? Yeah, why not? We're right next to it. We will confirm that war. We're going to march straight in on your troops. You guys are going to march in from this side. So Yorkhand won't come in. We need to try and get 25% war score as quickly as possible. The more quickly we can get 25%. I think it's 25%. Once you get to a certain war score, they can't call in their allies. Oh, there's a lot of money we've just lost. It was either that or stability. Could try and march in one of these armies from this direction. I might well do that, actually. Although, I'm not even sure where it is they're going. I could try and force march them down. I just don't really see the point. Yeah, they're, they're going to stop down there and get absolutely destroyed. This is going to be a relatively easy, uh, relatively easy war. Renewed alone, which was unfortunate. But we knew it was going to happen. So they're going to get destroyed down there. You guys actually head up that way. So they're just going to be basically spaffing out single individual units, which is a little bit annoying. Let's go and sit on their capital. Let's go and start getting some of these forts. They're already at 10% war score. This is not going to be a long war. Which is good. We don't want it to be. And in fact, we're going to go up to speed 3. I wouldn't normally do a war at this speed, but... You know, what? what is there to worry about, really? Normally the reason I don't do wars on high speed is because it's very, very easy for a unit to sort of sneak in behind you and quickly do a lot of damage. They do seem to be trying to move a lot of units in here down to the south, so we will be keeping our eye on that. Uh, we do have a wall breach up here in Sinsagar. You guys are going to try and take that back. I mean, that's wonderful for you, but at the end of the day, it isn't worth anything. Uh, we can get up there, so let's just go and siege out Kangra. So we do want to take that, and we will. Yep, you go and take back your uh, worthless province without a fort, and I'll sit here and siege your fort out. It's on 42% already. And then we'll just go straight after your army. One of these armies... Yep, we still have attach. We don't really want the attach on there. Because if they've all got attach on, we'll just end up taking massive attrition. Uh, but have you got attach on as well? Yeah, you see, we've got we've actually got um, a unit that was attached to us down there doing nothing apart from causing us attrition. Um, so that's fine. Uh, we've managed to go and grab that one. Let's go in and take another fort. We'll wait till those guys are movement locked. In fact, they probably already are. We should catch them nicely. Indeed we did. Yeah, I'm sorry Jean-Paul, it's just not going to happen for you. Of course we are going to be taking uh, attrition and suffering man manpower loss during this war, but we shouldn't lose too much. As I've said, it should be a relatively straightforward war. So let's just go and get all of these provinces um, with fort sieged out. They're already at low war enthusiasm, already at 57%. We are going to want to try and take as much as possible. We did declare on Jarkan directly, so we should be able to take a nice big chunk from them. Um, some of it I will try and give to Garjat, at least these three provinces, I think. Uh, and I will take some of the other ones. We'll separate piece out Kangra first so I can take that province, because that is our mission. Um, Kashmir's up here all on their own. Maybe we need to sort Kashmir out as well. Um, that was really bad timing for you guys, because I'm going to go ahead and move in here. Oh, no, you've already been caught, so it doesn't matter. So you do have some units around. Let's get you guys down in these provinces. 
It's all going very, very well. You guys are trying to um, take that back, and I'm not happy about that. I hadn't noticed you were down there. You're probably just about... No, you didn't manage it. I was going to say, they'll probably just about manage to get that before I arrive, but uh, they did not. Um, so, jean -Paul already want a piece out. Kangra we have 100% war score with, so we want to full annex you and take all of your money, which is like nothing. So, that's our mission completed. Manpower, recovery speed, yearly prestige. Um, we want to uh, form an alliance with Nepal. It really wants us to be Nepal's ally, doesn't it? Uh, let's go ahead and do that core. Let's go and... Um, uh, they won't at the moment because we're already in a war. Once once we're out of that war. I did say that I'd probably like to take some land from them at some point, but it's not really worth it. And they've been very, very they've been a very crap ally um so far. Really, we've got to go all the way around there. Let's just move you up there then. You guys can go back to being on the uh, eastern border. That's wasteland, which is with a really weird border colour. So yeah, this this war should go quite nicely. That's about to fall. We'll probably want to give these three provinces to Garjat. Take some for ourselves. That one's going to fall. We're already at ninety nine percent war score anyway. But you know, let's let's get the hundred. We might as well. Um, these provinces here. Let's go ahead and instantly flip them over to um, Garjat. So that one definitely. Uh, this one. Definitely. Now, my war goal was to take that one. Um, so maybe I want to give some of the other provinces to... No, I'll give it to Garjat. I don't care. That's going to be Garjat. And then we'll probably see what we can take ourselves. Would be nice if that went away, but it doesn't look like it's going to. So let's get you guys down to Jangladesh. That's all going quite slowly. Let's go ahead and um, see if we can sue for peace. We want to get you to give up those. Um, probably get you to give up these as well. 97% war score and we can pretty much encircle them. Do you know what that'll do? Yes, we just got a load more war exhaustion, but look how wrecked these guys just got. We're not going to have to worry about them for a while. We do have some cores to do. It's going to cost us some admin points, but we can afford to do that. Corruption's going up, but that is fine. Jean Paul is down to three provinces and probably for not much longer either um what about ngari up here those guys don't have any alliances we could go ahead and take them out we don't have a cv against them but we could certainly go ahead and um build a spy network on them let's repay a loan while we can um kashmir you guys don't have any alliances at the moment all of my guys are busy. Uh, we could go down here and fabricate another claim. So let's go and do that. We'll recall the guy from um, Senwi. Because we don't need you there at the moment. And uh, I think I'll end the video there. So that was a productive war. We took some land. Thanks a lot for watching guys. I hope you are still enjoying Europa Universalis War. I'll see you guys on the next video. And until then... Goodbye for now.